So, during this video, I will be describing how nuclear bombs or weapons are, how they work. So, at the center of every, it's a little bit of background, at the center of every atom, there is a nucleus. Breaking the nucleus apart or can, um, or combining two nuclei together, which is the plural of nucleus, can release large amounts of energy. Nuclear weapons use that energy to create an explosion. Um, modern nuclear weapons work by combining chemical explosives, nuclear fission, fission, and nuclear fusion. Um, the explosive compress nuclear material causing fission. The fission releases massive amounts of energy in the form of x-rays, which create the high temperatures and pressure needed to ignite fusion, which is the gist of coming, causing the bomb. Um, so the difference are, you know, uh, two important components are fission and fusion. Um, so all matter is composed of atoms, incredibly small, which are incredibly small structures that house different um, combinations of three particles known as protons, neutrons, um, and electrons. So at the center of each atom, there is a nucleus where neutrons and protons are bound in close proximity together. Um, most nuclei are re relatively stable, meaning the makeup of their neutrons and protons is comparatively static and unchanging. During fission, the nuclei of certain heavy atoms split into smaller, lighter nuclei, so multiple different ones that are just smaller, releasing, and uh, this causes them to release excess energy in the process. This, is, this can sometimes also occur spontaneously, but can also, in certain nuclei, be induced from the outside. A neutron is shot at the nucleus and is absorbed, causing instability and fission. Um, and some elements, such as certain isotopes of uranium and plutonium, which are common radioactive supplements, um, the fission process also releases excess neutrons, which can trigger a chain reaction if they're absorbed by nearby atoms. Um, now, fusion works in reverse. When exposed to extremely high temperatures and pressures, some lightweight nuclei can fuse together to form heavier nuclei, releasing energy in the process. So it's the complete reverse of fission. And um, Modern nuclear weapons, which use both fission and fusion, um, a single warhead can release more explosive energy in a fraction of a second than all the weapons used during World War II combined, including um, the two atom bombs dropped in Japan called um, Fat Man and Little Boy. So, it's a little background of all that. But how they work, all the nuclear weapons, is all nuclear weapons use fission to generate an explosion. Like Little Boy, the first nuclear weapon ever used during wartime worked by shooting a hollow uranium-235 cylinder at a target plug of the same material. Each piece by itself was not enough co to constitute a critical mass, the minimum amount of nuclear material needed to maintain fission, but by colliding the pieces, critical mass was reached and a fission chain reaction occurred. Um, modern nuclear weapons work slightly differently. Critical mass depends on the uh, density of the material, as the density increases, the critical mass decreases. Instead of colliding two subcritical pieces of nuclear fuel, modern weapons detonate chemical explosives around a subcritical critical sphere of uranium-235 or plutonium-239 metal. Um, then the force from the blast is directed inward, compressing the pit 
and bringing its atoms closer together um, once they are dense enough to reach the critical mass neutrons are injected initiating a fission chain and producing an atomic explosion um, and fusion weapons also called thermonuclear or hydrogen weapons the energy from an initial fission explosion is used to fuse the hydrogen isotopes together um, the energy released by the weapons creates a fireball that reaches several tens of millions of degrees temperature in the same range as the center of the sun which also runs on fusion fun fact um i drew kind of an example of like the different like what the structure of the one look of the fission of fusion so you can see all the different the fission here you have the explosive charge right there and then you have the uranium shield right there and you have the plutonium rod right down there through the middle and the arrow is saying that it's going down and then that's how it's exploding now you have fusion and you have the uranium shield right there um the uranium bullet and then you have the explosion charge or like the tnt which is right there and this arrow is pointing up meaning it's going out so that's kind of shows the differences in the two so, yep i hope that summed it up okay thank you